like Julie said, I'm having a great weekend. I'm headed to the Chiefs game. You should be jealous. I am very jealous, but you better bundle up because it's a night game Sunday night. That should be very interesting. Are you tailgating? Oh, I'm tailgating, barbecuing. We're doing it all. Okay, now I'm extremely jealous. That should be a good game against the Bengals. And there's a sunny weekend ahead. We'll bode well for all KU sports. That is for sure. Coming up on KUJH, we take a look at KU women's soccer wrapping up their Big 12 play for the season. And plus, we break down KU's football matchup against Texas Tech this weekend. Stay with us. Welcome back. I'm Zach Fisher. KU Volleyball was tearing it up for more than a month, winning nine games in a row. That streak ended this Wednesday in Manhattan. The Jayhawks were not able to get it done on the road, losing one set to the Wildcats three. The first set, the Jayhawks dropped 25-19. In the second set, K-State was up 21-18, and KU finished on a 7-2 run to go on and win it. The fourth set was the real heartbreaker for the Jayhawks here as they were up 24 to 22 and needed one more point to force a fifth set. K-State tied it up 25 to 25 and would go ahead to win the last two points. Don't be scared though. The Jayhawks have been a different team through their nine game winning streak. KU won an impressive 27 sets to their opponent's eight. Yeah, you heard that right. Against eight different teams in nine games, the Jayhawks only dropped eight sets. And four out of eight of those sets came to loss or came to Big 12 foes in Oklahoma and West Virginia. And it was not an easy schedule for them to beat at all as they also took on the 23rd ranked Baylor Bears and the fourth ranked Texas Longhorns. And comparing these games to the first nine games of the season, you'd see a different Jayhawk team. And the winning streak, the Jayhawks averaged an astonishing 24.5 points per game compared to 22 in the first nine games of the season. So KU looks to get back into the win column tomorrow at home against Iowa State. Go check the game out at 1 or catch it on ESPN+. It is that time of the week when my reporter hat comes off and it is replaced by a visor and a whistle. The coaching corner is back and the topic is Kansas football. Texas Tech are the 18.5 favorites this week in Lawrence. The Jayhawks are huge underdogs. But I have two reasons why I believe KU will send the Red Raiders Back to Lubbock with an L. First, Texas Tech is without their stud gunslinger in Alan Bowman. Their backup, Jet Duffy, is in his second week starting for Bowman, and he's a run-dominant quarterback so far. KU will have the more experienced quarterback in Peyton, Bander, Peyton Bender, excuse me, and same for Carter Stanley. Second, our defense still leads the nation in takeaways per game. Typically, you would want to get all the pressure you can on a young quarterback, but since he can run, expect KU to have him drop back and pass this week. Use this as an example. Last week, Texas Tech played TCU. TCU sent a three-man rush and gets the sack on Duffy because he has to sit back and throw. Later in that game, TCU sends a five-man blitz and Duffy reads it perfectly, finds the gap for the 38-yard touchdown run. Ladies and gents, book it. KU football is about to have their first three-win season since 2014 and end Texas Tech's 11-game win streak against the Jayhawks. KU Soccer starts a tour of Texas this weekend, taking on the 17th ranked Texas Longhorns tonight and the 13th ranked Baylor Bears on Sunday. The 10-3-2 Jayhawks have a huge weekend in front of them after coming off a loss in their final home game of the season against Texas Tech. This weekend could push Kansas to the top of the Big 12 or it could push them down in the middle of the pack. They are currently sitting at third in the conference. Even winning one of these two games would be huge for the Jayhawks. Some other sporting events that are taking a place this week include the rowing team. They have their Jayhawk Jamboree tomorrow, or excuse me, on Sunday. And on Sunday as well, the women's golf team is in South Carolina through Tuesday for the Palmetto Intercollegiate. And men's and women's cross country have their Big 12 championship next Friday to wrap up their Big 12 races for the season. It should be a week full of, ch a week chock full of rock chalk action that you won't want to miss. <laughs> 